So you're trying to draw with your brush and nothing is happening. We're going to go through seven different reasons why this might be and how to fix it. The first thing is, if you are seeing this little forbidding Ghostbusters sign, that means that the layer that you're trying to draw on is locked. So out in the layers panel, you're going to see a padlock on the selected layer. And you can see the layer is selected because there's a little pencil over there showing that. So either you have to select a different layer to draw on, which is not locked, or while this layer is selected, click the padlock on the top right of the layers panel and that'll deselect the layer. And then you can draw on it without any problems. The second variable is you're drawing on the layer. It's not locked, but nothing's coming out. Is it possible that the layer is not visible? We can see if the layer is visible on the left with the little dots, and if the dot is not visible, that means the layer is not visible. You click it, and then it shows up. And unlike Photoshop, in Open Canvas, it is possible to draw on a layer that is not visible. So it'll be there, but you won't know what you have drawn, so probably you're going to have to erase all that. Another possibility is that the layer might be covered by something. In this case, for example, I'm trying to draw on layer 10 and all the layers are visible, but I'm drawing, but I'm getting nothing. So why am I getting nothing? Because the layer is covered by a completely filled layer, layer 11, and only when I make layer 11 invisible do we see that I have indeed drawn on the layer beneath. Another common thing not to notice is when you're drawing and nothing is coming out, is perhaps your drawing color the same color as the canvas. You just need to change the color and it'll come out. A very common thing is that you're trying to draw and nothing is coming out because you accidentally changed to eraser. And you don't notice this because the quick controls are still showing you that you have a brush. But if you look up on the left, there you can see that your tool has changed to an eraser because you clicked an eraser in the brush choices. And therefore, all you can do is erase. You can't draw. So you have to change to a brush and it'll work. Another way that you may have changed to eraser by accident is this little panel on the left in the colors. If you click this, the brush becomes an eraser. So again, you have an eraser and now the, pa the panel on the left is still showing you that you have a brush. I will show an example of this. So I have my brush selected as a tool in the quick controls it's brush and I have definitely a pen chosen but I have a full I am clearly erasing and why I can change even my tools to something else so I can make it like a spray brush and it'll also be an eraser and that is because this square area has been clicked so uh, to undo this you click on the fore foreground color to go back to and then if you have the foreground color you will be painting normally but throughout this whole process you always have the indicator brush another reason that a lot of these uh, brushes can convert to erasers accidentally is that the pen that you use to draw on your tablet has a little button on it and by default that is the change between brush and eraser so if you just press that by accident you'll get an eraser normally you'll notice that but if you're on a new canvas it might be the reason why nothing is coming out. The next reason why your, why your brush might not be working properly is that you have a watercolor brush. Now under the watercolor brushes here are different brushes and some of them are set, as you can see on the top right, uh, bottom right here, that they are to mix with the base color and very little mix with the foreground color. So even if I have a dark blue, what my brush is going to be doing is this barely anything at all. I can make it huge and nothing is coming out. And that is because you would need to mix with the foreground color to heighten that level and then you would see something more. But these are watercolor brushes, so maybe if the brush is weak, check if you haven't picked a watercolor brush. Another very tricky reason why your brush might be doing nothing, even though your layer is right, you have your pencil, you have a color, everything seems okay, but the selected layer has a blending mode. And this is where the blending modes are. So when you're doing this on Lighten and many other of the blending modes, nothing is going to come out. If you do normal, then you're going to see, yes, you have been drawing, but it was a blending mode, so it wasn't visible. So if you go through the different blending modes, you can see that many of them on a white background 
give absolutely nothing or they give different colors. So for example, you might be drawing with a color that isn't the color you selected because you have a blending mode like difference, for example, or vivid light, which causes the color to change. If you're drawing on a, on a s drawing, let's say here, let's get rid of this. Let's say we have a blending mode like burn and you're drawing on a drawing, then these blending modes will have different effects. They, most of them will be visible then when you go through them. It's not as many that are going to be completely invisible if they're on an image. So just set your blending mode to normal and everything will be fine. And then there is the selection problem. Let's say you have selected something before because you were drawing and you wanted to just draw inside. You forget to remove the selection. You take your brush, you want to draw, nothing's coming out. And that's because you can only draw within the selected area. So what you have to do is say Control D or go up on the left under Select and click Deselect. That way there is no longer any selection and you can draw everywhere. And last but not least, never forget to check your brush's opacity because if the opacity is to zero, your brush will be invisible. So raise it up.